everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm currently on a debt-free journey. I am sharing today a Costco fill-in haul. We typically go to Costco about every four to six weeks and just do some fill-in items and just get some fun items too. We used to purchase a lot of meat at Costco. However, we've actually been purchasing our meat from a local farmer, so you probably won't. I don't think we got any meat in this haul um, besides like some chicken nuggets. <laughs> but for the most part, the majority of our meat is actually purchased locally, so you won't see that. Let me know if you're interested in that haul. Um, we did just get some a few months ago, so we probably don't need any anytime soon, but I can definitely share with that about that on my Instagram or YouTube when we do get another um, haul from the local farmer. But uh, so yeah, that has definitely helped us cut back on our Costco purchases. So today we did spend a grand total of 144 for all of this stuff and I'm just gonna go through it. And yeah, if you like Costco hauls, let me know. <laughs> they typically don't get a ton of views on my channel, but um, I still like to share them because I like to watch hauls. So if you like them, let me know. Otherwise, if you don't, that's cool too. So the first thing we got was some paper towels. So we really don't use paper towels very often. Actually, I think the last time we bought them was over a year ago. We do typically buy them from Costco, but we really just don't use them very much. So this will probably last us at least a year. It's like a huge pack, it's 12 rolls. So that'll last us quite a while. I'm gonna try and run through some prices too while I have this with me. So the towels were $14.79. We always buy our bath tissue as well at Costco. Oh, and I'm sorry for my son's Legos. <laughs> he does Legos on this, on this island too, so. Don't mind that. Um, so we also always buy our toilet paper at Costco. It's such a great deal. It's 30 rolls. Um, I think this was $6.49 or $16.49, sorry, for this giant thing. This lasts us a long time, many months. So we typically don't have to buy either of those, but that was what we've got today. And then I did get this refill pack of Band-Aids. This was actually on sale for... I think it was nine dollars it was 12.99 but 350 off so great deal we run through band-aids really frequently with two kids and between my husband and I as well so this was a pretty good deal I really prefer to use the band-aid brand I'm typically not a huge like name brand person but I feel like for band-aids I really do notice a difference in like the staying power so we did get the band-aid brand and this will just go in our first aid kit that was a pretty good deal um, of course, we did get some berries, so we got some raspberries and some strawberries. Strawberries don't look super great, but it is what it is. We need berries for my kids because they love fruit. We did get a pack of this Vitarain Zero. This is like Kirkland brand um, vitamin water, and my husband really likes these. I'm not a huge fan. I don't really drink like juices or anything, but he really enjoys those, and so every few months we will get those. And then I've got this big box over here. So this was also on sale. Oh, the Vita uh, Rain, let me see. The Vita Rain was $10.49. And raspberries were $4.99 and strawberries were $5.99. So pretty good price on the berries, especially. Um, we did get this garlic chicken by Bird's Eye. I've actually never tried this specific one, but we do get a, I think it's also Bird's Eye, but it's like called Voila or something. We get it typically at Walmart. Um, and this one was only $6 on sale. It's normally, I want to say, yeah, it's normally $8.99. It was on sale for $6 at my Costco. And I thought we would give it a shot. I really enjoy these kind of meals. They're relatively healthy you know they're not like the greatest thing but um for a quick meal they're like a skillet meal we really enjoy these so i will let you guys know how we like it it looks very very similar to the ones that we normally get from walmart so i'm sure that we will like it just fine i did get this box of gogurts it's 34 tubes or 32 tubes this was also on sale for $4.49, which is a great price for 32. Um, you know, I know they're not like the healthiest thing, but my kids really enjoy them. My son usually takes them for a snack. We did get these Duke's uh, shorty sausages. They're just like little beef jerky strips. My husband really likes these. They were on sale for $7 at my Costco, so that was a pretty good deal. If you eat beef jerky or anything like this, you know that it's very expensive, so I only ever buy it when it's on sale. We also got this little treat. It's the brownie brittle. I've actually never tried this before. It was $6.69, just like a fun treat. We normally don't buy stuff like this, but you know, we went to Costco hungry and that's like the biggest mistake you can make. 
We did get this big pack of floss sticks. So this is actually 300. Um, I know floss sticks, I think, or floss picks, I think are not as great as using regular floss. Um, my dentist says that it's fine. So I typically use the floss picks because I know that I'll actually use them if I have the regular. I don't typically use it. Um, let me see. These are on sale too for $7.49. So for $300 for the name brand, I thought that was a pretty good price and we just needed it. So there we go. Then we also got a pack of these trail mix snack packs. So these are already portioned out little trail mixes. They've got peanuts, M&Ms, raisins, almonds, and cashews. We really love these. I don't buy them very often. Um, and I usually actually buy like the big container. They have like just a big um, bag of them. However, they actually, I couldn't find them today. So we just got the snack packs, which is probably better because it kind of helps with the portioning too. And then, <laughs> so this is like really random. So my Costco had a lot of clearance stuff. Oh, let me say the trail mixes were $13.89 for this pack. And the brownie brittle was $6.69. So this was a clearance item. So my Costco right now has a lot of clearance items, um, especially for the clothing. So my daughter is currently in 2T. So this is like quite big. I mean, it's an extra small. So she won't be wearing this for a long time. But this whole thing of clothes was five bucks. And it's so, so cute. It's got these little shorts, which I thought was so sweet. And then it's got a little short sleeve shirt. And it's got some pants that match, like just a drawstring pant, which I thought was so cute. And this little sweatshirt, which is so adorable. And it's um, BCBG Girls, which I mean, BCBG is like a really popular brand, I think. Um, yeah, so I got them in an extra small. They actually only had one, like if you noticed how the packaging was on this one, it was a little messed up. They only had one extra small, so I grabbed it. They actually did have a large, which I was like almost tempted to buy because like for four pieces for $5, I mean, that's like a dollar a piece. I normally, I'm, I mainly buy clothes thrifted. We typically don't purchase clothes at Costco. Um, however, that was just such a great deal. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's so cute. My husband kind of rolled his eyes because she's not going to be able to wear it for a while, but I thought it was so cute. And I almost bought the large and he was like, Amy, we do not need a large. She is two years old. So, <laughs> and then I did get some vitamins. I know I'm not pregnant. You guys, I swear <laughs> I'm not pregnant. I just take these vitamins. My OB um, recommended to just continue to take prenatals throughout like my thirties. So I've always just taken these. I've taken them throughout both of my pregnancies and outside of both of them too. So that's what I take. They were actually on sale as well. Let me see if I can find it. They were on sale for $14.99. I mean, this lasts me about six months almost. Uh, it's $150, so one a day. So yeah, I got that. That was a good deal. Um, yeah, I really like this brand. And when I was pregnant with my daughter, this was like the only brand that I found that did not make me so sick. And then the last thing that we got was a bag of chicken nuggets. I usually like to buy these only when they're on sale, but I really needed them. We typically don't use them too often. They were $11.49 for a five pound bag, which isn't a horrible price. However, they do usually go on sale at my Costco for between six to $7. So I typically like to find them on sale. However, we do really like to have them on hand for my kids every once in a while for like a quick lunch or quick dinner, especially because my son is in baseball right now and... It has been really rough on the nights that he has baseball games because he's gone for usually about two hours and then he has school the next day. And so we need something really quick. And this is better than like getting McDonald's or something else on the way home. So that is what we got. Again, my total was 144.40. Not too bad. Um, I like to stay usually around under $200 for our fill-ins and that was right on track. So let me know if you have any questions below and let me know if you have found anything crazy good at Costco. I'm still so excited about this little set. I can't wait till she's old enough to wear it because I think it's so, so cute, but I couldn't believe that it was five bucks. I even checked my receipt like five times and I was like, seriously, like $5? So crazy. So let me know what was your best Costco find lately? Have you found anything great or does your Costco have a lot of clearance right now? Because mine had a ton. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for sticking around. Bye guys.